Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. The journey of the Starliner so far has truly been anything but smooth for the crews, even being regarded as a series of failures. But what's even more concerning is that just as this spacecraft is nearing the completion of its mission, it encounters a new issue that could potentially affect the entire International Space Station, ISS. Stay tuned until the end of the video to uncover the full truth about this incident. It really feels like a scene from a suspenseful sci-fi movie, a strange sound emanating from the spacecraft, almost like sonar, but no one can pinpoint its origin. This is exactly the situation Boeing's Starliner encountered last weekend while docked with the ISS. This anomaly prompted NASA to investigate and get to the bottom of it. However, the answer they found was not as straightforward as one might think, and certainly wasn't related to aliens, as some initial theories suggested. On Saturday, NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore discovered the strange sound coming from the internal speakers of the Starliner. Immediately, Wilmore contacted the Mission Control Center to report the phenomenon. There's a strange noise coming from the speakers, he said. I can't identify what's causing it. He also asked the ground team to carefully investigate and get back to him as soon as they had an answer. The team at Mission Control noted that the sound resembled a sonar echo, much like an underwater acoustic signal. Despite this, both Wilmore and the team at the center didn't seem overly concerned. However, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield, who spent a significant amount of time on the ISS, had a different perspective. On the social media platform X, formerly Twitter, he wrote, there are some noises you don't want to hear when you're in your spacecraft, and the sound that Boeing's Starliner is making is one of them. This incident prompted NASA to immediately investigate to ensure the safety of the entire mission. Fortunately, after conducting their investigation, the agency confirmed that the sound was just a normal occurrence related to the docking process between the Starliner and the ISS. NASA announced on September 3rd that the audio system on the ISS is quite complex as it needs to support connections between multiple spacecraft in various modules. This audio interaction led to the feedback phenomenon, causing the strange noise. There has been no technical impact on the spacecraft, the crew, station operations, or the plans for Starliner's return to Earth from orbit. In fact, astronauts often encounter such strange phenomena while in space. A notable example is from 2003 during China's first crewed spaceflight, when astronaut Yang Liwei reported hearing a metal-like banging sound as his spacecraft orbited. Scientists later concluded that this sound was due to minor deformations of the spacecraft caused by pressure differentials between the inside and outside walls. Although this phenomenon is not dangerous for a well-maintained spacecraft, the situation with the Starliner is much more complex since its launch, the spacecraft has faced a series of technical problems, turning it into a symbol of difficulties in the aerospace industry. As part of NASA's commercial crew program, Starliner was expected to transport astronauts to the International Space Station, ISS, in a manner similar to SpaceX's Dragon. However, while SpaceX has achieved many milestones, Boeing has repeatedly encountered failures during Starliner's testing. The first crewed test flight of Starliner brought astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams to the ISS in June. However, due to issues with leaks and engines, the plan to return to Earth aboard the Starliner was canceled. Instead, they had to return on SpaceX's Dragon Sea. Initially, the two astronauts were supposed to stay on the ISS for eight days, but due to the complex situation, their return schedule has been pushed to early next year. If Starliner not only fails to complete its mission, but also jeopardizes the ISS, it would be a significant blow to both Boeing and NASA's reputations. Notably, NASA seems to have given special favor to Boeing's Starliner project, even after continuous issues. NASA's director remains confident that Starliner will be 100% ready for the next mission in the near future. This has raised questions about NASA's transparency in disclosing issues related to Starliner, including the recent mysterious sound. Is NASA trying to justify the project to avoid facing more criticism? In June, just days after Starliner docked with the ISS, there were reports of an emergency sound coming from the space station. However, NASA quickly explained that it was just a misunderstanding during the crew's drill and everything was safe. Nonetheless, the repeated incidents and vague explanations have led many to lose faith in NASA. The doubts and theories surrounding Starliner have grown stronger, shaking the trust in the collaboration between NASA and Boeing. However, it is important to emphasize that these suspicions do not necessarily mean NASA is intentionally hiding information. 
Despite the numerous technical issues faced by Starliner, the spacecraft must complete its mission and return to Earth safely. To prepare for the uncrewed return, NASA held a press conference on Wednesday, September 4th at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where Steve Stitch from NASA outlined the step-by-step -step process to ensure a smooth procedure. Before Starliner departs from the International Space Station, NASA will conduct a go or no-go vote, assessing the conditions at the landing site in White Sands, New Mexico. Once approved, the separation from the ISS is scheduled to occur at 6.04 p.m. Eastern Time, ET. Immediately after separation, springs will push the spacecraft away from the station, and about 30 seconds later, a short engine burn will help propel Starliner further away. By 11.17 p.m., the spacecraft will perform a burn to exit orbit, lasting about a minute to place it into atmospheric re-entry orbit. Starliner is expected to land at around 12, 04 a.m. on Saturday, September 7th in White Sands, New Mexico, approximately six hours after separating from the ISS. Although there will be no crew on this return flight, NASA will still use the opportunity to gather crucial data, simulating future crewed flights. Starliner is equipped with accelerometers and seat sensors to simulate the forces astronauts would experience during atmospheric re-entry and landing. Additionally, data on pressure and temperature fluctuations inside the spacecraft will be recorded to assess the performance and safety of the vehicle. After Starliner lands, NASA will hold a press conference at approximately 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time to review the entire return process and discuss the key findings of the mission. Given that the weather in New Mexico can be unpredictable, NASA has prepared backup plans to ensure a safe landing. If weather conditions are unfavorable, such as strong winds or rain, Alternative landing opportunities will be scheduled four days apart to ensure maximum safety. Moreover, Starliner highlights the challenges the crew has faced, including the use of different spacesuits. The Boeing suits worn by NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams on their flight to the ISS will return with the uncrewed Starliner. However, these suits are not compatible with SpaceX's spacecraft. Therefore, NASA has provided Wilmore and Williams with SpaceX suits for their return to Earth on Crew-9 scheduled for late February or early March next year. Sunita Williams tested one of the SpaceX suits currently on the ISS and confirmed it fits perfectly. To ensure thorough preparation, a second suit will be sent to the ISS on the upcoming Crew-9 resupply mission for Wilmore. In case of an emergency, NASA has also confirmed that both astronauts could be evacuated on Crew-8, although they would not have access to the spacesuits in this scenario. The coordination between NASA and SpaceX demonstrates meticulous preparation to ensure crew safety, even as the Starliner project still faces many challenges. The current situation raises serious safety concerns. One of the main issues is the propulsion system of the Starliner, with suspicions that it may not be functioning as expected. However, Starliner is equipped with 21 different thrusters, providing redundancy and ensuring that the spacecraft can complete its mission safely. NASA has also planned for the future certification of Starliner. Initially, Boeing intended to conduct another Starliner mission in February 2025. However, due to technical issues and delays, this mission has been postponed to August 2025. This additional time will allow NASA and Boeing to address any remaining issues, ensure that Starliner meets all necessary safety requirements, and improve performance for future crewed missions. So, what lies ahead for NASA and Boeing? As Boeing and NASA continue to collaborate to upgrade the Starliner program, the upcoming uncrewed return will be a significant milestone. Even though the spacecraft will return to Earth without astronauts on board, it remains a crucial test of the Starliner system's readiness and overall capability. Data collected from this mission will provide valuable insights for future crewed flights, reinforcing Starliner's role as a key component in NASA's commercial flight program. Looking toward 2025 and beyond, Boeing and NASA are working tirelessly to ensure that Starliner can operate as a reliable transport system for astronauts. Despite the delays and challenges, the program remains a vital part of NASA's long-term vision for commercial partners and the future of crewed space exploration. Since arriving at the ISS, astronauts Wilmore and Williams have conducted at least 42 experiments, spending over 100 hours on research in fields such as biology, physics, and space technology.